Okay, welcome back to the Chrono Talk channel. In this video today, I'm gonna discuss uh, why you have to use the hand winding even if your watch is automatic uh, and what is the consequences of not doing so. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is a, a quite common question because uh, either people don't know that you have to or e that you can use the hand winding, the auxiliary hand winding, uh, e even if the watch is automatic, or uh, they do that uh, they do know that they have to do this, but they don't know exactly why. Or sometimes people even ask why uh, you have to do this because uh, the watch is automatic anyway uh, and doesn't make sense to if the watch is designed to to wind the mainspring uh, through your wrist movement why you have to use the the, the hand winding uh, well uh, the, the reason first first of all you have to understand that you don't you don't have to do this always you have to do this you need to do this when you take your watch and it is completely stopped and the reason why is that it takes some time some use time some uh, time on your wrist with movement to wind the mainspring enough so you can have a decent uh, timing, a decent accuracy, uh, or a decent uh, uh, chronometric performance, if you will. Uh, why is that? Because the watch is, uh, it's, it's designed, of course, to wind with your, with your movement. So the uh, basically an automatic wind, you just use it every day, and that's it. It will keep the mainspring uh, wound enough to give enough power to the to the movement to work properly. But even though when it's very low on power. Uh, you can you can avoid that the timing may be uh, affected uh, neg negatively affected either it can uh, run way too fast or way too slow if the watch is working without enough power from the mainspring so that's the main uh, reason why you have uh, why it's good to to use the auxiliary um winding via uh, by the crown um so uh, on, I, I have a, a a quick movie here that uh you can see exactly what happens uh to the mainspring when you wind it up by the crown uh what you see here is a swatch is a irony uh yas 100 is the reference, also known as body and soul. I select this watch to show you this because uh, uh, the, the movement is a skeleton, so you can see exactly what's going on on the mainspring when you when you use the crown to to wind the mainspring. So you what you're seeing the big wheel that you're seeing uh, near six o'clock it's the it's the mainspring barrel and of course the mainspring is inside uh, it's completely unwound and that's why the watch is stopped and at first i'm going to give uh 20 turns on the crown and you see that the watch starts uh working uh right on the third or fourth turn on the crown you can see the mainspring is winding around uh, the arbor, which is the the center of the mainspring. And with only 20 turns, you can see that the, the watch now is working properly and you have enough power from the mainspring. 
uh, it's not completely full and now I'm going to give a couple of turns more to see uh, how much it takes to wind it completely and you see I'm winding it up and now now that's it now it's completely full because I can see that the mainspring is slipping inside the barrel so this means that the the, the mainspring is completely full uh, basically it took uh, I think it, it took uh, 30 through 32 winds uh, turns on the crown to wind it completely so uh, you don't need to to completely wind the mainspring uh, when you do this uh, you can but you don't need to uh, uh, you can use so that's why I, I basically I recommend around 20 turns on the crown sometimes 15 or you can use 30 uh, but I don't think it's useful to use more than 30 winds uh, or 30 turns on the crown because it's just a waste of energy uh, you can you can you can give 100 turns on the crown but it's it's really unnecessary uh, it, it, the important is that you give enough power to the watch to work properly now uh, i have a, a, another video that i'm going to show you what uh, is uh, the impact on performance when the watch uh, works without enough power uh, what happens is that either it's going to run very slow or very fast uh, or at least very out of the the normal specification or the accuracy that you expect to and it can take by the normal use it of course it depends on on how much you you move yourself over the day but it it, it depends on the movement movement by movement but of course it can take at least four hours three four maybe five maybe even six hours of use to wind uh, use on the wrist to wind the mainspring enough or the equivalent of, of 20 turns on the crown okay so this means that the watch will uh, work for around four five six hours uh, running too fast or running too slow and then you may have the at the end of the day you may have the the sensation that your watch is not working properly uh, in this video now uh, what you're seeing here is a uh, it's a Breitling it's a it's a chronomat B01 movement which have uh, around 70 70 hours of power reserve uh, this watch is 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 just overhauled by Breitling itself, so it's it's in completely perfect working condition. Uh, and what I show you here first is the watch is completely stopped, uh, completely without any power on the mainspring. And I'm going to do what a lot of people think it's the it's the right way to start an automatic watch which is uh, shaking the watch uh, this is true if your watch doesn't have an auxiliary uh, winding by the crown but uh, this is this is very today it's very uncommon uh, actually I can only I can only remember of the the old Seiko and Orient movements that don't have the winding by the crown uh, other than that basically all automatic watches have uh, have the possibility of winding the mainspring by the crown especially if it's a Swiss watch so I'm going to shake it a little bit and of course that this will make the watch uh, start working so as you can see by the sub dial at nine o'clock which is the the small seconds you can see that now it's moving it's move it's, it's it's it means that the watch is now working 
okay and i'll put it on the on a on a timing machine in this case is a chronoscope it's a vici chrono chronoscope s1 and uh, I'm not going to explain exactly uh, uh, what this machine does. Uh, I will make it on another opportunity. I'll make a video on what this kind of, uh, what a timing machine does, how it works, and how to interpret the results. But, but for now, it's just important to keep in mind, you will see two very important uh data on the top of the of the screen of the of the equipment you see uh, a number that is that have s slash d which means seconds per day this is exactly uh, the accuracy of the watch at that moment in seconds per day and you have uh, you have another number here which is ms it's milliseconds this is not important now uh, and you will see a number with the with the the small degree um, symbol this is uh, uh, this is not important now to understand exactly what this means but what I can tell is is that this means uh, how much power the mainspring have or how much power of the mainspring is reaching the, the regulating organ of the watch, which is what is uh, the organ that is responsible for the, the accuracy. Okay, so uh, you see that after I shake the watch a little bit, you can see that uh, the accuracy now it's it's losing around uh, 20 seconds per day 23 25 26 it almost reached 30 seconds per day losing time okay this is completely out of out of the the, the normal uh the normal performance of this watch even if you consider especially if you consider that this watch is a chronometer okay so uh, we expect that this number to be positive in first place and you can as you can see that number in degrees is 140 143 degrees this is way too low way too low this means that the watch is almost stopping uh, the normal number just for you to have an idea the normal is uh, that this number on a watch that is with enough power from the mainspring when it's completely full this number is around 300 degrees uh, and after 24 hours it drops to about maybe around 280 270 and the work the, the, the watch can work properly uh, until it drops to 240 230 okay but less than that uh, the the performances start to decay a lot um, so on the next video what I'm going to show you is what happens after I gave 20 turns on the crown? Okay, in this in this particular movement that have around 70, as I said, 70 around 70 hours of power reserve. This is the autonomy of the of this movement. This is how long it takes to unwind completely the mainspring if you do not wind it again. So from full full mainspring full power until it stops it's around 70 hours and this is a very long uh mainspring which means that 20 turns on the crown is not too much i believe that it's not enough to it's not enough to reach half of the of the power maybe maybe one third of the of the of the complete power so even though after 20 turns of the crown which can means in normal 
use on the wrist this can means around four hours or five hours of use even at, only after that i have the the accuracy now it starts to reach a decent level of six seconds per day uh, positive which means the 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 watch is running six seconds fast per day which is absolutely normal and absolutely good for this watch in this condition keep in mind that the 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 mainspring is not completely full and as you can see that amplitude that i talked about is now around 240 200 and almost 250 degrees okay now let's see what happens uh after i wound up the the mainspring completely by the crown okay now the 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 watch is running at full power and see what happened here uh, the amplitude is around 290 degrees which is exactly what i expected uh, to this movement to be at at full power and see what happened to the accuracy now it's 2.2 2.1 2.3 2 seconds per day uh, this is it's an outstanding performance okay this is a very good uh, movement that's exactly what it what we expected after uh, after an overhaul or when this this watch is is new so as you can see uh, the we only got a slightly decent performance after we have at least a bit of power from the mainspring and before that what happens is that maybe your watch will have we, we work with the very poor accuracy for like four or five or six hours and that's why it doesn't uh it doesn't worth not doing not using the the auxiliary winding by the crown keep in mind that you don't have to do this uh every time you don't have to do this every day you only need to do this when you pick up your watch and it's completely stopped without without any power on the mainspring other than that you don't need to do this the 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 mainspring will keep uh wound by the movement of your wrist so 20 turn is is enough okay this is enough to give enough power to the to the accuracy to be at least decent and after that it will uh, wind by your the movement of your wrist okay so i hope this helps uh, i hope this help you to understand uh, why it's important to do this as i said probably you knew that you have to do this but not exactly why or you never saw exactly what happens when the watch is not running with enough power okay uh so that's it thanks for watching uh don't forget to click on the thumbs up uh, sub subscribe to the channel and spread the word tell your friends your fellow watch collectors and enthusiasts uh to subscribe to the channel and and that's it thank you see you next time